In Zimbabwe, President Robert Mugabe has sworn in his two new vice presidents. This despite a challenge by the opposition in the Constitutional Court to stop the swearing in of Justice Minister Emerson Munangagwa and former diplomat Pelek Ezele Mpoko as co-vice presidents. The National Constitutional Assembly Party argues that it is unconstitutional to appoint two vice presidents to replace one. This after Joyce Mujuru was sacked. The second vice president's post has been vacant since the death of John Cormop in 2013. Emerson Monagagwa will double as Minister of Justice, Legal and Parliamentary Affairs. Mugabe also saw in 10 new ministers and deputies at his official residence in Harare. Now to give us an update, we have with us on the line Shingai Nyoga. Shingai, very good afternoon to you. Now, this swearing in of a new vice president brings a big change to Zimbabwe's politics. How has the response been thus far? Well, um, there really was no, uh, in terms of expectation, um, that um, anyone other than Emerson Mnangagwa um, would be vice president. Um, he is uh, confident that he will be loyal uh, to Zimbabwe, he will be loyal to Zana Pierce, um, and has pledged as such uh, that um, he won't deviate from the course of the resolution, um, as he's put it. Um, so really, a lot of people are saying that um, as vice president, both uh, Peleke Zena Mpoko and uh, Emerson Mnangagwa uh, really don't have a lot of room to leverage and put uh, their stamp on the vice presidency. Uh, they will be very much expected uh, to submit to President Robert Mugabe, to his principles, uh, to his leadership style. Um, mm -hmm. And so as long as they are vice president, uh, there will be very little departure or deviation uh, from the course that Zana Pierce has taken so far under the leadership of President Robert Mugabe. Mm. Shingai, were there any parties or individuals who were against the swearing in of Mangwangwa and Mpoko as vice presidents? Um, this was very much a Zana Pierce affair. Uh, we had um, the, the Chiefs Council, we had um, the members of Parliament from Zana Pierce, um, new members of the Central Committee, um, judges, uh, but really there was no one from the opposition. Uh, this obviously is very much a ruling party uh, government um, with, uh, with a minority of, of the opposition. And so there is really very little expectation um, that they would have a place in this, despite the fact that it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a national office that they were being sworn into. Um, this is very much a ruling party affair. Shingai, we're very curious. What has become of ousted Joyce Mujur? At this stage, uh, she's, she's kept a very low profile um, over the last couple of days, um, ever since she made a few press statements. Um, clearly, she's, um, she's submitted to the fact that she, she's um, been overtaken by events, uh, that there are two new vice presidents in office, um, and really resigned herself to the fact that she is uh, just an ordinary member of the party. Uh, she's kept a very low, low profile, hasn't really appeared in public uh, since the last couple of days. Shanghai Mnangagwa is said to also double up as justice minister. How will this pan out? President Mugabe hasn't really explained um, how this is going to happen. Um, what he did say there when he appointed the two vice presidents um, was that um, in the previous in previous terms of office, uh, the two vice presidents had very little to do. Uh, that is why he abolished the, the national chair seat and said that they would rotate in these particular positions. Uh, but we really get the feeling on the ground here that um, the purge that has happened and, and the events that have happened over the last couple couple of days are not over, that we should still um, expect some more surprise announcements. Um, the Minister of State Security has not been uh, replaced, as well as the, the, the Women's Affairs Post has not been replaced. Uh, so we're really expecting some um, other key announcements, um, other key reshufflings, uh, maybe not in the next week, but in the new year. Shingai, thank you so much for that. That's Shingai Nyoga, SABC reporter in Harare, Zimbabwe, talking to us about the new cabinet at ZANU-PF.